Welcome back to TC Play. I'm your host today, Sarah, and today I'm here with Aki and Shiori. Hey guys. So today you can see we have lots of different donuts and we've gone shopping and we bought a lot of donuts at Mr. Donut. I don't know, is that too many donuts? <laughs> is it too many? Yeah, it's a lot. I think I can probably get through like maybe two. Hey, so I'll, like but I'll do my best, I'll do my best, but god dang. Whenever it comes to donuts, I always just feel so full. But I mean, I'm gonna be also answering questions and I'll have like some help. So we'll do our best, that's all I can say. But I really like Mr. Donuts a lot mm. because they tend to switch out a lot of their flavors. These are a lot of the basic ones mm. I think that you get. We have 28 different types and we use the card from our Fukubukuro videos. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know how how many I'm gonna get through. How many do you think you're gonna get through? I'm gonna aim for at least 10. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we asked you guys to send in all your questions on Instagram and Twitter mm. for Aki. So thanks for doing that and we'll get started. All right. Yay. So if everyone wants to grab a donut. And which is the Aki's favorite one? I actually really like the strawberry pomderingu. Ooh. Yeah, this is what this is called. I don't know. Is there Mr. Donuts overseas? We don't have it in the US, I think. Mr. Donuts actually started from America. Did it? Ooh. I've never seen seen one. And then there's only one left at that. Yeah. Oh, in America? Mm. Where? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I, I'm gonna go for pondering too. I'll go for the pondering standard okay. one. Okay, so we're all just like ponderingus right now. Yeah. All right, all right. Itadakimasu. You guys can start eating. Uh, all right. Okay. I'm gonna go with the first question. Mm. So besides Japan, what other countries would you like to live in someday? Oh man, that's a heavy question, huh? I haven't even lived in Japan that long yet. Well, first off, I can see myself probably living in Japan like on the 10 year mark, mm. like max and until I start to think about something. But I guess like it also depends like, you know, how Joey and I are at that point. And if it came down to it, probably Australia. Cause I know he's, hey. he, said, yeah. <laughs> he said that he, he doesn't want to live in the US. And honestly, I don't really blame him too much, but I can see myself trying Australia. And then another one, probably Ireland. Cause I really love Ireland. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably my favorite European You've country. Been to there? Yeah, twice. Ooh. Yeah, it's my favorite European country to go to. I've been to Australia once and it was really good. I mean, I saw a lot of animals that I've never seen before. The first animal that I spotted in Australia was uh, something that was like really rare apparently and it was an echidna. It was just like on the side of the street in Sydney. Yeah. Like Joey's dad was like, how in the hell did you see it's so an echidna? Rare. You've been you've been here for like 20 minutes <laughs> and you already see an echidna. Because I've never seen one. Yeah, I, I cannot net. Oh. Yeah, we'll put in a picture. It looks like, I thought it was a porcupine when I first saw it. Yeah, it's very spiky, it's brown. Finish one donut. Yeah, one donut. Aki just did like a whole video of eating with Emma. Yeah. So we're not gonna push her to eat too much. Yeah. Okay, so next question. What product do you miss the most back home from the US? Yeah. My my mom sends me a big package of stuff from America all the time. There's a lot of snacks, I think, in America that we don't have here. Like hot Cheetos are not really a big thing oh, in Japan. Oh, nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And everyone like that I know who has at least visited America mm. has always asked me to bring them back like hot Cheetos. I miss Sephora a lot, which is like a makeup store. I like that one. Mm -hmm. Cause the makeup in Japan, I'm not like always a big fan of it cause it's so like light and sheer. Mm. Um, in America, we really like pigment. Like we like it to it's strong, really, yeah really like show up on her face. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like a collection of stuff. Like you don't really realize what you have until like you've moved to another place and it's like, oh man, I miss dry shampoo. And like, well, dry shampoo. Dry, that? You don't know what dry shampoo no. is? It's like a big thing. It's like spray that you put on your hair. Really? Like when, yeah, and it like cleans your hair. Like oh. if you don't want to go to the shower. I didn't know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> There's uh, it's like a big thing. But if you couldn't do YouTube anymore for whatever reason, what would you like to do next? Mm, that's a big question for every YouTuber. <laughs> every YouTuber always has to have this in the back of their head. But I think like over the years, I've kind of made a lot of connections. So like, you know, every sponsor that I've done or like every like big collaboration with a company that I've worked on, that's always just like a connection that mm. I can make with someone. And because I've worked with them, they someone there already knows me and I could, and you know, I definitely live my life by, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Mm. And like, you know, you get a lot of kind of incentives. So I can see myself doing that but i would like to stay like kind of in the anime otaku sphere mm -hmm. um just because that's who i am mm -hmm. i was actually talking to my mom the other day and she was like man you've been doing youtube for so long uh you've got like maybe a good five years left and i said oh <laughs> until, until what and then she's like well you know until you have to like think of something else i was like okay five years all right so <laughs> thanks mom <laughs> yeah thanks mom <laughs> but you know we'll see um but i am always like trying to prep myself for that day to mm -hmm. come at some 
one point. So what is something that made you smile recently? Um, these donuts. <laughs> <laughs> that is recent. That last donut, I got a surprise birthday like two or three times this month because <laughs> I had a pretty rough month that I won't get into, but like then my friends heard about it or one of my friends wanted me to have dinner with her and it turned out to be like this big mm. surprise party. Uh, another one was Sharla because she couldn't make it down to Tokyo. So I was like, okay, well, let's go hang. I go up to the north and it turns out that she had been planning with literally everyone to throw me a birthday. So I was like, oh, that's awesome. So like, yeah, this month it had its ups and downs, but um, I think that made me really reflect of the friends that I have in Japan. So mm -hmm. yeah, that was really that's a good answer. Mm, and I think I needed them the most this month as well. Mm. What was your first month like living in Japan? Actually, I think it wasn't as hectic as some people probably think because I had just moved and I'm having like a total like culture shock or whatever. But the thing is, I had been coming in and out of Japan for like two and a half years by that point. And before I even moved, I had been shipping a lot of my stuff to Japan. So a lot of things were set up. And thanks to like, you know, TC and also like Joey and you know, a whole bunch of friends, um, I settled in really nicely. And if anything, like I was just like, finally. And also during that time, America was not really in a really great state um, at, the, at the moment. So I actually left at a pretty uh, good time. But since then, yeah, no, I've loved my time here in Japan. What was the biggest culture shock at first? I don't know. I feel like when you come to Japan, like every little thing just like piles up. There's like so many, I guess, not rules, just a lot of expectations that people expect from you. It's like, I remember when I first came here, I met up with one of my friend's friend and he's Japanese. And uh, when I first met them, uh, I just went in for a hug and they didn't hug me back. They were like so spooked. And I was like, oh man. And then my friend, he was like, oh, it's okay, I'm European. When I first met him, I kissed him. So I was like, oh, okay. That, I was like, oh yeah. I mean, they probably expect that like foreigners will act different, but I mean, it wasn't that bad though. I haven't had that bad of a time here. If anything, the good has outweighed the bad and I can't really see myself going back to the States anytime soon. The next question is, do you plan to go to Super Nintendo World? I wanted to. <laughs> I really wanted to, but then they uh, then they delayed it. Um, and I'd love to make a video there. I really, really, really wanted to. I, I saw like a few YouTubers that went and I did not want to watch it because I didn't want spoilers. But when it opens, I am so getting my ticket. But the thing is, is like the tickets will be so difficult to get for Super mm -hmm. Nintendo World because that's just how Japan is. I feel like with everything requires like, like reservation. Yeah, reservation, yeah. a lottery system. Do you go to Tokyo Disney? on a C with cosplay. Oh, you're not allowed to cosplay there. Oh. Yeah, uh, <laughs> only on Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was able. And I don't even know if that's just Japan. I think America's like that too. Oh, really? Oh, no. Yeah, but the little kids can dress up, but oh, okay. adults can't do it. They have and so much merch though, so you can kind of dress up in Yeah, yeah, sense. you can yeah. kind of. It's just uh, when full-blown like cosplay, mm. uh, you can only do it on like around Halloween and it can be it can only be a Disney character. Oh, oh really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, it has to be like only Disney. Disney only. It's on their website, but it extends to like Marvel. How about things. the Kingdom Hearts? You like? Yeah, I'm allowed to do that. Okay. I checked. <laughs> <laughs> I checked. They have like a whole list of everything. <laughs> <laughs> the way you're eating is so cute. I'm so full. I know. It's just so dry. This is my just number four. So what do you want to cosplay in the future? I mean, I have like my Patreon that I do stuff on a lot. <laughs> uh, I've been carefully. Doing... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, no, no. That was just like I was just trying to get out of my face. I have some Genshin Impact cosplays that I've been wanting to do because it's such like a big game and I really like the outfits in there. I like cosplaying my avatar a lot in like different mm. scenarios. The yeah, the Aki Dearest avatar. Um, I did a gym uniform one. I think the next one I want to do is maybe a swimsuit version or mm. like maybe a roller skating oh. version because I used to roller oh, skate. Really? I used to roller skate That's a lot. That's cool. So we're asking the PC staff to help yeah. us. Arigato! Yay! Yes, one? Yeah, one. Take them all. Did Joey like your chocolate from the TC Valentine's video? Yeah, he did. Um, I actually had a lot left and I put it in the same type of packaging. I just didn't put it in a box like Chris, but I just gave it to him. Yeah, he ate all of it. So for the return, what do you expect for the white days? Oh, for from white days? From Chris? What? what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> because of the Chris video. And Oh, okay. Uh, well, I don't know. I'm not expecting anything to be honest. Wow. Well, I mean, because Joey did gift me a lot of stuff like in February and nice. I feel like it's only fair to, you know, be good to his wallet and he doesn't really have to. But then again, I've never experienced White Day where the guy gives oh. something to the girl. Mm. But again, I don't know. I don't know. What do guys usually give on White Day? Flowers? Flowers? Mm, flowers? Yeah, but I don't like flowers because they die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. His love. 
That's that's mm. all I need for white day. What kind of anime do you think is overhyped? Sorry, mm -hmm. not on top. <laughs> <laughs> I think especially in Japan, uh, Demon Slayer. I mean, Demon Slayer, it's a good anime, but oh my God, it is on everything. Like yeah. literally everything is a Demon Slayer collab here. I don't know if it's like nearly as overly hyped overseas as it is here, but even like from the drinks to your food to like, I went to a really, really like fancy five-star like sushi place uh, that a friend gifted me as like a late birthday present and you know what they wrapped it up in in a kimetsu no yaiba like fabric <laughs> and i was like i can't escape from it so yeah i think uh i think japan is like going a little too hard on yeah. kimetsu no yaiba yeah what color you want to dye Nani? what color you want to dye <laughs> here i'll help you out here yeah <laughs> yeah right now well i always dye it blue because that's just been something that mm -hmm. I've always done. I would like to do red. Ooh. Red? Yeah, that'd be like kind of interesting, like a very dark burgundy red, like black to burgundy. Yeah, I don't know. I used to have purple at one point, but I liked blue too much. Mm. I really there's, like it. There's actually an interesting story about my blue hair. I told my mom how I, and it was very early in my channel still, but I was like, I really want to dye my hair blue. Like ever since I was little, I would get like those spray on like color uh. Uh, hairspray and I would do blue and cause I I wanted it to be blue and then she's like you are so my daughter and then i was like why and then she said because she, when she was little there uh in their class they had to sew dolls and they only had uh blonde black and brown hair uh mm. for like yarn mm. to sew as hair on the dolls but she went home and she got blue yarn instead and then everyone was teasing her in her class and they're like why is your like because it's supposed to be like your like baby because like they're they're little kids trying to act like moms or whatever like why does your your baby have blue hair and then she's like i don't know i think that my baby's gonna have blue hair and they're like yeah if it's an alien and oh. so she got bullied for that but then i told her i really want blue hair mm -hmm. and so she's just like huh apparently she made a voodoo doll mm -hmm. of me <laughs> Yeah, and she was like, I don't know, like 10 when that happened. Um, other than that, I don't I don't know what other color. Maybe when like everything is said and done and I don't know, like I settle down, maybe it'll just go back to black. How's your kanji learning going? Do you no. have a favorite kanji? I have a favorite kanji? The kanji for uh, depression. Because it's so damn hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... No, no kanji? It's a... Have you seen ah! it? Yeah. I cannot. Yeah, you have to. Go like way. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I like I feel like if I master like depression like in kanji, I feel like I can do stroke order with anything uh -huh. after yeah, that. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> that's like being pushed off to the side uh, for like the longest time. I probably should. Once Joey and I like move to a new place, which is like I don't know, s somewhere in the near future, I was thinking to go to Japanese school. Oh, oh yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I would cool. like to. What's your favorite Filipino food and what's your favorite Japanese food? And how do you compare? Oh, okay. Um, my favorite Filipino food... Oh man, it's so much. Oh, balut's pretty good, but you can't have it too much. I don't think you want guys want to know what that is. Nani. I don't know. Oh, there's like this snack called balut, and it's like in the top 10 most bizarre foods in the world. Yeah. It's a developing duck fetus, like it's the duck is like in it. And, I mean, they, the way they view it is like you eat a chicken when it's already grown and you eat eggs before it's even born. So this is just in the middle. Wow. But it's a it's a duck inside and so you crack it and you see Snap. the feathers on it and it looks like it's sleeping okay. sometimes. Okay. But that's not my favorite. I'll just say like chicken adobo and my favorite Japanese dish is probably unagi don. Oh. Yeah, una I love unagi don. Mm. And I can't compare them because they're, they're just two completely different things. Mm. One is like I've grown up with it and like my whole life and the other one I've grown up as I've been in Japan mm -hmm. so I, I I couldn't compare them oh where do you see yourself in five years according to my mom <laughs> uh, I'm doing something not that that's not YouTube in five years I can see myself still in Japan that's mm. the most that I can say probably married by that point I don't know but we'll see so what's your favorite Japanese snack tuna onigiri oh ah, yeah which you gave to Emma yeah which I gave to Emma I get that every day it's just it's a nice little snack it's like the right okay. amount just to start Start off your day. It's good. Or most memorable for you in an anime. It's difficult to choose for you, no? Because you've seen so many. I really have. I'm just going through like a file oh. cabinet right now. <laughs> this isn't the top one, but it always sticks in my mind. It's like from the Digimon movie. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Have you That's, seen it? Yeah. Were, oh, the Digi. It's when, I think it's when like Ty like goes through the computer and finally like like meets his like Digimon. And then it's like the final fight in the Digi world. That's all I can say. Cause I wow. know that they can't, they can't figure it. It's a really old like Digimon movie. Mm. So after the COVID situation calmed down, where do you want to go first? Oh. It could be outside of Japan. 
anywhere. If the US is okay by that point, I'd like to go there just to visit family and friends. Mm -hmm. Other than that, um, I really want to visit South Korea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Never been? I've never been. And it's just right over there. Mm -hmm. Like, and I still haven't done it. And I would like to go back to Australia as well because I've only been once. So it'd be nice to go. Mm. Yeah. Oh, so this one I'm interested to hear because I listen to a lot of Japanese music. But what is your favorite Japanese music artist? I've listened to a lot as a, as I was growing up. Right now, um, I really like uh, Higedan, official uh, Higedanism. Um, so hard to say. Yeah, just it's Higedan. Just look up Pretender. But um, my favorite of all time is The Pillows. They're a much more underground mm -hmm. Japanese band. Yeah, yeah, they make they make like rock. They did the soundtrack for another re uh, niche anime called Fully Coolie. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're they're really good. It's something I want the secret to. How is your eyeliner so damn good? All the time. All the time. Always oh! Never fail, never fail. Always, whenever I see Aki, I'll fail. You guys like edited the video of me doing the eyeliner though. Yeah, yeah. yeah we you, you probably watched. zoomed in like I need to fucking know. Like, uh, I watched it and I was like, honestly. So to yeah. be honest, it doesn't matter what eyeliner it is. I just you just have to know the right place. I actually leave my eyes open and then I just follow this part and I just draw it exactly where I want it to be when I'm opening my eyes. You can do it with any eyeliner brand. It doesn't matter. But what? if you want a recommendation, yeah. I really like Tarte and I. I really like Lady Gaga's House Laboratories eyeliner. That one worked re really well for me. But as long as you can figure out what part it is of your eye that you want, you can do it with any eyeliner. Do you have to three, eat the donuts? Four, five, six, no, we seven, don't. Eight, nine, <laughs> nine, more still. Oh man, I, we can't. I can't. Yeah, I, I can't. think you guys can't. Thanks guys so much for sending in the questions. Thanks guys for being here today. I am really full. I'm sorry I couldn't get through enough of these donuts. Yeah, so thanks everyone for watching. We hope you enjoyed this. Let us know which donuts or not you would like to try the most what do you think i will do in five years time yeah was my mom right i don't know find out in five years on the tc channel yeah. <laughs> so thanks for watching and see you in our next video bye um yeah so rollerblading nice yeah <laughs> <laughs> How many parts of your stomach is okay already? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> I can't eat anymore. Okay. And yet you grab okay. one.